Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena. And today we have another Tribal deck. We're going to see if we can ride this one out to victory. But uh, real quick, before uh, we hop into today's deck as always, I would like to remind everybody, if you enjoy the channel, please hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. Please leave a comment down below and check out all of the cool links in the description as well as joining the Discord. So... With that being said, let's hop right into today's deck. And this is going to be a little bit of a hard one to say, but we are calling it Meowbalization. Now, this is a cat tribal deck. We have seen a lot of cool cat reprints in Amonkhet uh, remastered, as well as some cool creature, um, or not creature, but cards that allow for explosive creature generation. So we are going to explore a little bit of everything in this deck so let's hop right into this uh as you can see all of our creatures in this deck are going to be cats they're going to benefit cats in some way also because again usually in a good tribal based deck the tribe uh themselves should have really good synergies and you should get a really strong benefit from it so let's look at our cats well, we are going to go ahead and say, yeah, we're playing Companion. We're playing Kahira. Kahira is a three-mana Vigilant Companion. Uh, basically, it says if you play Kahira as your Companion, all of the creatures in your deck have to be cats, elementals, nightmares, dinosaurs, or beasts. But each one of those creature types gets plus one, plus one, and Vigilance when Kahira is in play. So we're playing one as a Companion because it's a free card. And we're playing two in the main deck as well. We have four lean and vanguards. These are our one drops. Um, these are going to grow during our combat step if we have three creatures and we're gonna gain a life. We have four copies of sacred cats. This is essentially eight copies of sacred cats because of the uh, embalm mechanic. Once, uh, if this card is in your graveyard, you can actually exile it to create a, uh, a token copy of it. So you're, you're getting to replay them after they die. We do have four copies of Ajani's Pride Mate again, because we do have life gain functionality over here. Uh, Ajani's Pride Mate should be gaining life. We have a couple of copies of Bronze Hide the Lion because a two mana three three that could gain indestructibility is pretty powerful. We have one of our cat lords, Feline Sovereign. A two three for three gives all of our cats plus one plus one, but also whenever one or more cats deal combat damage to a player, we actually get to destroy an artifact or an enchantment they control. Uh, Pride Sovereign. This is a cat that gets plus one plus one for each other cat that we control. And then for one white and uh, tapping and exerting, we get to create two one one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. So every other turn, we're getting to grow his power by two. And we're going to be putting lifelink or lifelinking cats into play, which are probably going to be bigger than one ones because we're going to have other lords in play. Um, then also we have two copies of regal caracal so this is probably my favorite cat from almond cat it's a five mana three three gives all of our other cats plus one plus one and a lifelink uh, and on top of that we actually get two one one white lifelinkers into play so we essentially for five mana we get a three three and two two twos so seven power for five mana pretty good so let's look at the non-creature spells we have a couple a couple copies of a Johnny the Great Hearted. We get to give our creatures vigil, uh, vigilance as well as we can gain life, or we can put a plus one plus one counter on each one of our creatures and planeswalkers. We also have a couple copies of Unbreakable Formation. This uh, gives our creatures indestructible, but if we cast this during our main phase, we get to put a plus one plus one counter on each of our creatures. We have two copies of Heroic Intervention. This is just a two mana version of that, except for this is just indestructibility and hexproof. And then we have the, really the main piece is Collected Company. So this is probably one of the most busted cards that got printed in this set. Um, <clears throat> it is a four mana instant. We get to look at the top six cards of our library and put two creature cards with converted mana cost three or less onto the battlefield. So essentially what we can do is at the end of their turn, we can pay four mana, play this, drop two, I mean, lords or like a lord and a pride sovereign uh, into play and really just swing the game back in our favor, if not just win the game. So that's what we're trying to do. And we are running as typical a 24 
land in our deck, as you can see here. And so, yeah, so let's hop right into the gameplay and see if, again, this uh, Meowbalization deck will get the job done. So, see you guys at the wrap-up. All right, when? When cats attack? Maybe we should have named the deck that, but I really liked Meowbalization. Do we want this this cat army to come through for us? What is this guy's name? Nasal Jack? Okay. Nasal Jack. We're going first. They got a Kahira. I wonder if they're actually playing cats. We're going to keep... I feel like they're just playing a control deck, right? Feel like they're just on control. I'd love to draw another two uh, two drop or another one drop. They are playing. They are actually playing cats. Um. No, we're not gonna. Not gonna offer him a trade there. No blocks. No attacks. Wow. So they outcatted us. So if we block, if if we block, they kill both of them. So it's un it's unfortunate. Um. So this would become a five five. This would kill the biggest pride mate, which we're fine with. Um. No, we're not going to attack. We are going to trade off this uh, Sovereign, I think, with the Pride Mate. It no longer kills the Pride Mate. So... I think we're going to take 11 here. This makes two creatures. Doing some math here. Block, block, indestructible. Nine, that's a 9-9. Nine, nine. This will be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Block, block, block. Block, block, block. That's fine. You got you've got a Luris. NBD, right? NBD. What's more powerful here? A plus one plus one counter on all of our creatures? No, 
I think just... These don't have Vigilance. They do have a lifelink. This is turning into a pretty interesting game. Yep. Yep, I mean, we're gonna block. Hmm, another Pride Sovereign, huh? And 12. This is, okay, this is a crazy, this is going to turn into a crazy game here. I really want to play this other Ajani. Uh, no attacks. It's actually really good for them. We're just going to keep drawing Pride Sovereigns. I mean, they could just block this with a 1-1. One, one. Not a 1-1, one, one, but like a 1-drop. And then just replay it on their turn. They could block with a Vanguard, a Charm Stray, Ride Maid if they really wanted to. It looks like they disconnected. I mean, all of their cats have lifelink, right? A lot of life. They've definitely disconnected. I, I really doubt that they would be questioning this. They could just take this because they have so much life gain. Just their Johnny's Pride Mates next turn are going to be 33 points of life gain. More than what they currently have. So it looks like it looks like it's hitting. So now we wait.
this would have been a crazy game had they took an action there but we we're going to assume that their action there is taking that damage because that's an acceptable play they took 13 they're still at 13 i mean hell we took we took 11 that one turn when we were at like what 16 so so this is again it's unfortunate Stuff like that does happen, but Nasal Jack, good game. Sorry it had to end that way. Hopefully, hopefully you're watching the videos. And again, sorry. I feel bad celebrating, you know, a win. But again, a win is a win. So we hydrate. And we're not hydrate. We're you know we're not hydrating because we won. We're just hydrating because that's what we do in game two. We hydrate. So, I think we are going to fire up the old stream tonight, tonight being Friday. So, if you have not yet followed the uh, the stream, uh, the old Twitch stream, please grab that link down below and shoot us a follow. Join us on join us on stream tomorrow. We are going to keep. We are pretty pretty decent hand. Not the best hand, but pretty decent. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I mean, we're going to block. I mean, we're going to attack. They're going to block. We're going to grow this pride, mate. God, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So let's get cats here. Let's get a vanguard here. Get a pride mate. Let's offer up this trade. Might be the only time you get to do this, my friend. Oof. Oh, lucky you. Pretty good combo there. You're just taking the damage, huh? I think Robotic Death Dog is going to get us. Okay. Some more life. Another. Oh my gosh. How crazy is that? It must be nice that when you draw all of the... Uh... We're going to do this. We're going to see what we hit. Uh, Kahir is pretty good. We're definitely going to have a uh, pretty decent crack back here. I mean, we're still we're still obviously going to lose. They could take all this damage and still be fine. But they'll block Kahira. Is 
17, 22, yeah, they just take it on. They just get us on the crackback. They got enough flyers. Ooh, what is this? Good game. Just swing with everything. Don't sit there and <laughs> sit there and just like one creature, one creature, one creature. All right, here's a tip for everybody. When you're going to attack with all of your creatures except for one, hit attack with all, and then un and then after they're all selected, uncheck the one creature. It'll save everybody tons of time, tons of time. Good game, robotic death dog. I mean, we we dealt a substantial amount of damage that game. Um, probably at least forty. They just gained so much life, so much life. All right, Henvor. All right, what are we doing here with this? I don't think this is a hand we can keep. I think this is <clears throat> a little bit better. I think that's our worst card. Ooh, gutter bones, huh? Okay. Zombies versus cats. Oh no, okay. So Jun sacrifice. Uh you're gonna sack it to <clears throat> draw two. Okay. So Rak Rakdo sacrifice. I don't necessarily think I would have wasted claim the firstborn on the first creature that we dropped. Okay, well. If you just drew all of them, then obviously you're going to be in a good spot. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. You messed up, I know. I know. But. Good game, good game, good game. Alright, well. That is unfortunate for them. Um, our creatures attacked twice. But we did not get to attack with any of our creatures. So. Super Artemis. How about we go first? There we go. How about we get a hand we can play with? I think we're going to keep this. I don't want to keep this, but. I want to be able to play a one drop. I wonder if this is uh, just mono white. Looks like it is. Unfortunate we didn't get a good curve there. So now we let me read this. So the good thing is, good thing is we win because they conceded. But I guess they were on the let's draw a creature plan, and they just didn't draw a creature. All right. All right. Well, I have some quick concedes. But that is part of our video sometimes, you know? The Dab Soul. 
We go first. Can't keep this hand because we're playing off curve. I think we keep this. <clears throat> we really need to draw into this. I almost thought about putting this bronze hide lion back, but don't think that would have been a good idea. So I think we're actually going to get Kahira back. We're just going to play, be playing against more Gross Spiral decks. Well. Let's draw a land here. And it's not like we've actually played any of these decks yet today. You have another one? Um, it's just frustrating to see. Uh, can we kill them here if we draw land? So let's assume we get two lords. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can put them at one. So in case they have some kind of board wipe here, we're not going to overcommit. Three, four, five... Potentially kill them here, depending on what we hit. Um, yeah, we we didn't kill them. We put them to one. They probably have another Storm's Wrath. If we would hit any Lord there, like two cats, one of them being a Lord. All right, they just hit another Storm's Wrath. Unfortunate. Or another opt, maybe? Okay. Maybe they're slow rolling us. Uro? Okay, Uro's not gonna do it. Maybe they're just doing that to say they got to eight mana? Seven? Okay. I mean, we still have a good game. We're not going to uh, draw it out like some of our opponents do. Good game. All right, coming in for the next one. I think this is game six. Let's see. I've had a couple of quick concedes. That last game was only like three or four minutes. Ongomatic. That's a cool name. I enjoy that name. Uh, we go first. Not the best hand. We're going to keep it. I wonder what we're playing against. I'm imagining we're going to see a swamp here. Swamp or a forest. Swamp and a forest, okay. So they don't have an Assassin's Trophy in their hand. Oh, they're playing an Uro deck, huh? So that means they're trying to ramp up to eight, so we have to kill them before they get to eight. Um, 
Um, cats. Let's let's try to hit good with Collected Company. I really do like the art on this card. Yep. They they didn't have a land there. Okay. Or they're choosing not to play one immediately. They just chose not to play one. Um. So how much damage is this? If we play this... One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. Think this is lethal? Or we're one off. Uh oh, or we're one over. Nailed it. Math is for blockers. All right, who is the final boss? Who is it going to be? The game is loading up a good one. Nice name, Novocaine. Uh, we get to go first. We're going to keep this. Oh, it it had a regular meow this time, whereas earlier it had like a it had like a deep deep meow. Um, we don't have a two drop. Yep, fear our one ones Yorian deck who has tons of removal, I'm sure. Play an artifact. Don't even hover over these. Oh, collected company. Yeah, I feel like taking the collected company there is probably the better of those. All right, take five. Three, six, nine, ten. So they're going to take ten next turn if they can't kill any of these. All right, well, they're killing one of them. It's unfortunate that it was that one as well. This gets a non-creature, right? Yeah, you, you don't get anything. Tap land is good for us. We're presenting lethal, so... Oh, 
buying a Charming Prince for blocks. I almost don't want to... No, they... I gained three. I guess it's... I would have scribed there. Yep, you can block Kahira. Take take five still, go down to five. I mean if they they have to have a wrath or a shatter. Because if they play a, like a Doom Foretold, we just sack a cat and then we get Kahira and we kill them. Yep, yep. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. Well, let's replace what we did. They do get a blocker with the castle. So they go up to eight. This is the buy him a turn. I don't really know what our best draw is. Collected company? That's what they got rid of earlier, right? Yeah, collected company. Probably not a land. I feel like they have a removal spell, but it's going to cost them two life anyway. So if they Murderous Rider or Kahira, they're going to lose two... We'll go down to four. Nova Kane, what are you doing? I really don't want our our final boss to disconnect as well. That would be a little unfortunate. Oh no, we disconnected. That is some ish, right? We disconnected. That's what, there has to be a better disconnection. Um, prevention notification then then finding out in the middle of a turn luckily we don't lose out on anything if oh, okay so they final payment it okay so final payment uh, didn't let us it didn't let us pick our animal so we probably disconnected again looks like we did this is kind of crazy you guys get to see the amazing amazing programming of arena in action Yeah, 
luckily we identified the fact that in our head we're like oh wait it didn't it didn't let us pick the creature type so if they kill a token we're good but killing the vanguard not so good Wow. That's pretty good. So I think we lose now. They've gone back up to 10. Oh, they're going to have... Mm, decent draw. They might have to Demonic Pact our Planeswalker here. I will return, and with more by my side. All right, so there goes Yorian. This is actually a pretty good draw. So Yorian's going to get to reset the Demonic Pact. Uh, Yorian comes down, kills a token. The Othakaya resets Demonic Pact. Let's draw a Collected Company. You're not a collected company. Why would you do that? You have another flicker effect for the Oath of Kaya? If so, that's pretty good. Doom Foretold is also pretty good. As we can't sack tokens. They'll probably draw two here. Oh, that is good. Yep. I mean, other than the fact that we're at 44, we're still 100% going to lose this game. Can't even imagine what card they got. They don't have a Doom Foretold in play anymore. Um... They have to reset Demonic Pact. Oh, I'm going to say nice. So 
they, they've dealt four damage. They've... If they just play another Doom Foretold, we win. Uh, why would you kill your own creature? Could have just done that on our turn. You didn't have to do that right now, though. I mean, you're going to win anyway. Good game. I'm going to sit through this. It is what it is. So, good game, good game. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the wrap-up. And... We did all right. We went uh, five and two. We, uh, you know, we lost that last game. Uh, we were close, um, but we just couldn't get the job done. So that uh, Orzov deck is pretty hard to beat, especially uh, against the creature deck that doesn't have a ton of interaction. We just have to hope they play cards in the wrong order or we just draw insanely good against them or we are able to actually land our heroic interventions when they... Uh, cast, you know, board wipes, stuff like that. So uh, what I did not like about this deck, um, I really didn't like the unbreakable, the unbreakable formations. I really felt like we just needed to have a couple more two drops in the deck. So I think at this point, the two unbreakable formations, I think just become two more bronze hide lines. Um, I felt like there was just a lot of games where we went one drop, but no two drop. We went like one drop and then one drop and then nothing. So that's where we would be on this deck. Otherwise, this is this deck's a lot of fun. It's not Cat Tribal's probably not going to ever be competitive. Uh, typically, <clears throat> you're going to find Regal Caracal in the sideboard of a, a control deck, like an Azorius deck. Um, decks like that typically like to go from a control matchup, if, and then if they're playing against a slower deck. They're going to start sideboarding in creatures um, that can just get the job done a lot faster because the other decks sometimes just don't expect that to happen. So, uh, yeah, I uh, wish we could have got to utilize our Feline Sovereigns um, a little bit more. We didn't really get to play against any decks that, that were heavy enchantments unless they, you know, quit or conceded. Uh, and, you know, I do wish we got to see the, the play out of that, that game number one where our opponent timed out because that game looked like it was going to turn into something pretty ridiculous. Um, and it is unfortunate that it happened. So, but yeah, uh, again, if you enjoy the, the video, the channel, anything, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out all the links in the description below. Hit that like button. If you've stayed till the end, I mean, more power to you. Um, if you could, please leave a comment down below letting me know that you plan on watching the stream tonight. Um, you know, it is being it is Friday, so we are 99% going to stream tonight on Twitch. And if you don't have the link, please check it out down below. And yeah, leave a comment again, letting us know you're going to be there so we can entertain you and have a lot of fun in the stream. So, all right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend since it's now the weekend. Stay safe. We will see you next time. Remember, this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community. And a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel.